Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Thanks for tuning in. This video, uh, just an update, what's been going on. Uh, I've been doing a lot of imaging lately. We've had a lot of clear nights, which is fantastic. And uh, I've been uh, able to have everything running well, which is also great. So I've been doing uh, imaging on two objects, and uh, that's the Witch's Broom and M31. Uh, getting a lot of good data on both, and uh, the images turned out really well. I was using the Esprit 100 triplet, uh, which is my main imaging scope. For the Witch's Broom, I used the QHY 268C, and for uh, the filter, I was using the new Optolong L-Extreme filter. Now, these two uh, together are a win-win uh, for sure. Fabulous results with these camera, uh, with this camera and filter combination. And I don't know if you've uh, seen or heard a lot of the chatter about it, but um, there's other astrophotographers out there that are posting images as well and talking about it, and they're getting really fabulous results with these two com uh, two combined. Um, and I can attest to that because I'm getting really phenomenal results as well. Uh, the Witch's Broom uh, being done with the QHY 268C and the Optolong L Extreme. Uh, was only six and a half hours data, I believe it was. We'll have a look shortly. Um, but uh, it was only six and a half hours and I was completely blown away. I was like, wow, this is incredible. Um, really, really fantastic stuff. I've put a link in the description below for both the QHY 268C and the Optolong L Extreme. If you're looking for a new camera or a new filter or you're looking for both, definitely check these two out. Uh, really, really good products. Um, they're new and they're working phenomenally for astrophotographers. Um, the 268C camera is a very high resolution. It's uh, 26 megapixels. Um, the pixel size is 3.76. Uh, it's back illuminated, no amp glow. Okay, the Witch's Broom I was working on and that turned out really good. And then for the other target, uh, it was M31. And I've shot M31 before using uh, different cameras and that, but I've never shot it using the QHY 268C. Wow, was I blown away. Um, I actually posted, for those of you that follow me on social media, on, I'm active on Twitter for sure. I have a Facebook page as well, check that out, Visible Dark Astro. Uh, like and follow if you can. Um, also on Twitter, you'll find me at Visible Dark with an underscore at the end. Um, that's where I post uh, and, and do a lot of talk about uh, astrophotography and what's going on. Um, so I posted an image there. It was only four hours of data taken with the uh, QHY 268C and a clear filter. So there was no filter used, no light pollution filter used or anything. Just a clear Optolong UVIR cut filter. Woo! Wow, it was great. Um, I was really, really impressed with what this camera was able to do. So um, I went back and shot more data. I ended up with about almost 10 hours of data actually. And uh, it's uh, turned out to be a really great image. I'm really happy with it. So let's go over to the computer and we'll have a look at what I was doing and we'll check out these images. All right, so we're at the computer. I've got the Witch's Broom loaded up. Uh, let's have a look, let's check it out. Here's the Witch's Broom. And uh, this one here was um, six and a half hours. Uh, I've got it noted there, six and a half hours. And um, the uh, colors, the H alpha and the O3 really popped out really nicely done uh, by the, uh, the camera and the filter combination. Um, I really like all the detail, the faint details that were picked up um, and it, it looks really fabulous. Uh, uh, if we uh, have a zoom in here, we got uh, we got some really nice uh, uh, details showing up in the uh, in the supernova remnant, and uh, yeah, I think this is a great uh, great image. Uh, what do you think? Let me know what you think. Um, comment, uh, leave a comment below, and let me know if you like these images. Let's uh, pull up the uh, let's pull up a five minute sub and just have a look. So this was uh, this was done at around 2 a.m. this sub here this is just a single five minute sub um, so it actually you can see the uh, witch's broom there picked up quite nicely uh, you got good good um, signal to noise ratio the noise is actually very uh, minimal and uh, we've got great uh, contrast and good detail happening in this five minute exposure I also like to note that the um, 
the filter itself is very well controlled where halos are concerned on bright stars. We don't see any halo effect from this filter, which is really fantastic. Um, it's, it's capturing the HL from the O3 very nicely, as we can see here. Um, do I have the... I got a master here. So this would be a master for the L Extreme data. And this would show us what a stack would look like. This would work out to about, if I'm not mistaken, this works out to um, two and a half hours of data taken with the L Extreme. So this is two and a half hours of data taken with the L Extreme and the QHY268C. So you can see the, uh, the strong signal that we're getting uh, through on the H Alpha and the O3. Uh, it's working, this, this, this pairing is just really uh, quite amazing actually. It's uh, uh, really, really great together, the two of them. So uh, what I did here was I took um, this two and a half hours. It was, I mean, two and a half hours really isn't a lot of narrow band data if you think about it. So uh, fabulous that it was able to pull this kind of result. But I took this and I combined it with, uh, I took some broadband data as well. And the reason I took the broadband data is I wanted to maintain some of the uh, star color that was uh, in, the, in the stars, a more natural star color, I should uh, say. Um, So if we look at, we'll just close these off because we don't need those. Um, so this is the color data. So this is just straight out of the uh, 268C using a clear UV IR cut filter. Um, and again, it performed really well, uh, really, really great uh, considering there was no filter involved here. I'm picking up a lot of H Elf and a lot of O3. So yeah, this is a really great combination and the two of them I combined and was able to uh, produce this image here, uh, which I'm really happy with. Uh, let me know what you think about this image. Uh, let's close this off. We'll minimize this and we'll look at the M31. This is the M31 data. Uh, this is nine and a half hours that I took and uh, it turned out really fabulous. We got a lot of uh, great detail showing. Uh, the core details are really fantastic. Uh, we picked up a lot of the nice, uh, the bluish color, and we've got a lot of the uh, red, uh, red nebulosity regions showing up. And this was taken without the aid of a filter, in the sense that um, I didn't, uh, I didn't use any uh, any H alpha in this image. This is strictly um, just a clear, the Optolong clear UV IR cut filter, which uh, is doing a really nice job. And the camera, the camera, the QHY268C in this case is really the winner. Um, it's the one that's really coming through for its sensitivity uh, and its capabilities. And uh, I, I think that uh, if, uh, like I said, if you're looking for a, a new camera, um, you, you definitely need to check out the 268C if you're looking for a one-shot color camera, that is. It's uh, a really fantastic, uh, fantastic camera. So this is the uh, nine and a half hours. Um, the four and a half hours, uh, or sorry, the four hours of data that I had posted about, that I talked about, we can find, um, this is M31 here, and this is, so sorry, uh, five, wow, it's up, no, here it is. Here's the five, here's the four hours. I've got different uh, levels, uh, different uh, variations, but um, this is the uh, this is the four hours of data, which on its own is really great. Um, again, uh, limited data, but we've picked up a lot of the red nebulosity regions throughout, and um, we've got uh, some great detail happening, got great contrast, uh, good signal to noise, and uh, I mean we got you know low low noise happening in this image. Um, once it's processed, which is really fantastic. It's a nice clean clean image, uh, clean result from the QHY268C. So I was uh, quite happy with this. I was quite, I was quite uh, blown away by this as I worded it on my Twitter and um, rightfully so because uh, for such a limited uh, amount of data, it sure did turn out really super. So really happy with this.
Okay, there's a little bit of an update for you what's been going on. Uh, stay tuned, more videos coming. Um, also, keep an eye out for my Picks and Sight Beginners Workshop. I'm working on putting that together. Um, this workshop will give you a basic beginner's overview of how to um, calibrate, align, and stack an image and how to process it using a minimal workflow to produce a very pleasing image that you can share with your friends. So keep an eye out for more information coming on that. Um, a date hasn't been set for it, but it, I am working on putting it together and uh, there'll be more details available. Uh, follow my Facebook page, Visible Dark Astro, um, and also uh, follow me on Twitter, Visible Dark underscore. And I also have a newsletter and I'll be sending out periodic updates uh, through that as well. So if you're not on my newsletter, you want to get on it, uh, head to my website, visibledark.ca and uh, sign up there. Um, I'll be posting info on the uh, Picks and Sight Beginners Workshop and uh, I'll be sending out uh, more information uh, through the newsletter. So lots of ways to keep in touch with me and hopefully you're a subscriber of my YouTube channel. If you're not, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss future videos. Okay, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Clear skies, everyone.